You may have heard that cells are the building blocks of life. That is because all living things are made of cells. Whether it's a tiny little microbe or a giant elephant, cells are the foundation of all living things. Cells come in many different shapes and sizes, and can be found in single-celled organisms like bacteria, or in multicellular organisms like us humans. They are responsible for all the functions that keep us alive, like breathing, eating and growing. But how can we tell if something is alive or not? Well, one way is to look for cells. Living things are made up of cells, while non-living things are not. So, if you see cells, you know you have a living thing on your hands. But if you don't see any cells, it's probably not alive. So how can we use scientific investigations to provide evidence that living things are made up of cells? You could conduct an investigation using a microscope. For example, look at a leaf from a plant and observe the different structures within the leaf. If you zoom in on a small section of the leaf, you will see the individual cells that make up the leaf. Microscopes allow us to see the individual cells that make up living things and understand that cells are the basic unit of life. You can also further your understanding by studying the differences between living and non-living things. You could observe a rock, a piece of paper, and a leaf under the microscope and compare the results. The rock and paper will not have any cells, while the leaf will be made up of many. This shows us that cells are a defining characteristic of living things, and that all living things are made of cells. You could also observe and classify different living things, based on the number and type of cells they contain. For example, a single-celled organism like amoeba, and multicellular organism like a human. Through different investigations, you will be able to see that cells make up living things and understand that cells are the basic unit of life.